YouTube! In this video, I'll be talking about everything you need to know about ships. And that's my boat there, that's my big boy, SK Hullbreaker, or more commonly known as Skullbreaker, or whatever. But basically, this video is going to be showing you all about all the things you need to know about ships. How do you get ship items? How do you get crews? How do you get co-captains? I mean, quartermasters. And basically, what are the best stats and where do, where do you even start? So, when you're starting off your journey, uh, you will go from, uh, what is it? Uh, Dawn Island to Red Wake, and you'll, you'll, you'll be using a rowboat to go from there to there. And once you're here, once you've done the quest and such, uh, you want to buy a boat, right? So, the rowboat is just way too slow. And how do you buy a boat? So, when you're around here, if you turn a left from here, facing, uh, if you look at this compass, facing east, it'll show that there's a ship place here. And this is called a shipwright, and this is called a builder. Shipwrights are basically where you can use your ship, you can buy ships, you can buy ship parts, and you can like re repair your ship, you can redock your ship and all that stuff, all that type of stuff. Builders are on the hand, on the hand, uh, the builders on the other hand, uh, you basically make stuff with them, and I'll be showing you uh, in a later on. I'll show you, I'll show you, I can't speak English today. I'll be showing you later on on when they come, when they become useful. But first, you want to talk to the ship right here. And when you go to the shop, you come up with this screen, and this is all the parts that you can buy. So you can buy the sails, you can buy cannons, you can buy the repair hammer, which I suggest you to buy. I already have, a, I already have one. You can buy a paintbrush to paint your ship. You can buy a name plate, which is where you can name your ship, and you can buy lanterns. And these are all the cannons. And if you go to the ship tab, this is where you buy a boat. And from Red Wake, your your starter boat will be a sailboat. And this, when you when you buy it, so when you buy the wait. When you buy the boat, it will say you own this, and then it will immediately be equipped to your boat. This is what the uh, cat looks like, but it will it, look something like this on the right. Oh. Yeah, so it will look something like this. Everything will be empty, and it will be your current ship. Now, how do you equip stuff? Well, when you uh, go talk to the guy again, you can buy all of these things, right? So, one thing, for cannons, you don't have to buy multiple cannons to fit multiple cannons in your ship. You only need to buy one cannon. This is a... What the heck was that? This is a common mistake every person makes. And you just need one cannon. You don't need multiple. You can just buy one cannon and it will apply to your whole ship. So you're, you can buy one cannon. It's a slot and you can basically just... It will apply to all the cannons all over your ship. And what I would suggest buying because you're starting off would actually be the normal cannon. So it's just a damage multiplier player of one, range multiplier player of one, and just it's just normal. And buy two if you want, if you're really rich, but yeah. So once you've bought the cannon, what you want to do next is basically uh, not go to that, but it was your shipyard. And if you go to your cannons, I can find it. That's what uh, that's a heavy cannon, but imagine that was a normal cannon. You can just click on it, and as you can see, it applies to your ship right there. So you only need to buy one one cannon for to work on uh, the, your whole ship, and then you can also place your the the lanterns. I can find it. Uh, there it is, and that will apply light to your ship. And what about the other things? These are all like other swaths that you can use, but like what what do you put in? Those parts are when uh, your things come into play. So when you do, when you fight pirates and such, uh, you get something called sealed bronze sealed chests, and basically from them you can get ship parts. So the things that you see here, these are all from those pirates that I've killed, or I've done them from also treasure hunting, which I have videos on as well, on the top right, right there, and. You get blueprints for the things, and those blueprints is when you uh, is when you want to go to the builder. So if you go to the builder here, here you can see all the blueprints that you have, and then you can just 
uh, click on one, you see how much it costs, and then you can just build it. And then, once you've built it, uh, it'll look something like this, and you can just click on it, rocket framing, and boom, it applies armor to your boat. So you can see it applies it physically as well, and you can paint it, which is pretty nice. Now, sails, again, you can buy them or you can get them. Every chest is guaranteed a sail, and it doesn't show here properly, but uh, it does work. And you can just paint the sail as well, so it's pretty nice. And now, the main thing, where do you get crews and where do you get uh, the quartermasters? So, the starter crew that you can get for uh, like basically a minimum level of 10 is at Redwick. And the way you find them is actually by zooming in all the way to Redwick and you can see these icons. Now, the icon you want to look for is this icon right there. That is a crew icon with three people on it. And if you can locate that, from Redwick, it is actually that person right there. I haven't bought them yet, but this is uh, this is a good thing. So, Redwick Warrior, and you can see the icon on top. So you want to talk to them, and there'll be there'll be a fee to hire them, which is 200 galleons. It's pretty expensive for starting off, but 200 galleons becomes really cheap, really really quickly. And you need a minimum level of 10 to hire them. And once you hire them, you can just click on them in your inventory and something like this and you can just there now you have a crew there and they'll you can now control your cannons from uh your from your ship when you're when you're driving it so that will allow you to do to fight uh pirates and all those all those things now how do you let's say you spawn your ship but then uh nothing is applying when you're putting it on the ship right what you want to do is you want to go talk to this person here and then uh, you want to press on redock. So what redocking does is it respawns the ship so that all your things that you put on it, all the upgrades, will apply on the, on the ship. You need to have it spawned and it, if you haven't spawned it and if you died, you can respawn it and it will apply all the upgrades. And here's also where you repair. You can use the repair hammer. It is a it is a viable thing. However, it is way more expensive to repair a boat than just going to a shipwright and repairing it here. It is way cheaper. Uh, you don't want to use the hammer because it only apply it only repairs thirty. Uh, what do you call it? Thirty health of the ship with just uh, three galleons, and over time that adds up really fast. The more health your ship has. You, you can do it on like uh, if you have really low health on your ship like you take it to half at least to survive and such but if you really want to uh, repair your ship fully you would really want to go to a shipwreck to do so now how do you get bigger ships or better ships so that's where uh, you have to go to a different island Redwick is a starter island so it doesn't have the best of ships but if you want to get the bet next island I mean if you want to get better ships uh, I would suggest that you go to frost mill for the next upgrade and you can make a pretty penny in frost mill as well so that's a nice spot to start off and also if you're a criminal right and you, when you're a criminal when you have a bounty you can't repair your ship or uh, at the at the normal shipwrights so there are places in the map where you can uh, Ship, repair your ship with uh, with criminal shipwrights and this is one of them here so if you just go here there is a person in the middle of this right there and you can repair your your ship right here and basically it's 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 for criminals only it's you, you can repair it if you're an innocent person but yeah pretty good so th that's one place. There's actually multiple places around the map. So, for example, uh, there's one in uh, there's one in Dark Pine. There's one in White Summit. There is one in uh, Forest of Chernuno, and I think one in Sandfall as well. I'm not really sure about that one. Yikes! But uh, you have plenty of spaces uh, if you're a criminal. Uh, if, you're, if you have a bounty to repair your ship, 
if you have if your ship is really damaged and you spawn at Ravenna because you're max level, yeah, it is a it is a nuisance to go to Chernuno to like um, repair your ship and stuff. But it is what it is. Now, back to where you can get your next upgrade. So you want to go to this ship right here, and this is where you can get the next ship upgrade, which is called the Caravel. It costs a thousand two hundred fifty, and it can have rams and rams are a completely different aspect in ships where they don't use cannons they use a ram in front of the ship and you can run into a, an enemy ship and do insane damage in one in one shot uh, it doesn't actually take the health of the ship so it's pretty viable if you if you are really skilled with it you can take down a ship by just ramming into it again and again same thing here you want to you want to build those things it's everything everything is here for you to build now what do you get the next oh wait yeah the quartermaster so your first quartermaster is actually on uh frost no, i forgot i forgot top wall completely forgot about it forgot about it <laughs> so the way you get your first quartermaster is actually right over here in this place when you know when you are around uh enough level basically this is where a, a wizard called Enizer will be. It's photos on the screen right now. And basically, he will you will get a quest to get a lot of items around uh, near Frost Mill. This near the small. It's on the small islands. And at the end of the quest, you will be able to hire him for free, basically. And uh, he will join your crew. And then once you join your crew, you can then. Uh, can you can then equip him uh like that onto by clicking on him and then he is now a part of your ship and he is pretty useful so he's basically a he's basically a permanent uh enchanter for your boat so you don't need to go to uh you don't need to go to islands anymore to enchant your stuff you can just talk to him and he works no matter what your bounty is so uh, i can disenchant myself that is too much and i can enchant my stuff whenever i want to let's see uh uh that is way too much that is way too little let's just enchant something at least this there hard iron that's really lucky <laughs> but yeah so he's pretty good and now i'm going to show you how you get Edward Kenton. Now, Edward Kenton is actually he's a he's a key part of the story, and many people can actually miss him out when while they're um, do while they're trying to level up. Uh, he actually does show up in some cutscenes. I won't say what he does, but basically, he he is a part of the story, and I would suggest getting him early on if you want on your main slot. If you have it, well, you can get him later on as well, but he won't, he wouldn't have shown up in your story in the cutscene and such. And the way you get him is actually at uh, Elm Island. So it is on top of Dawn Island where you spawn. So it's very close, you can just swim there basically. And yeah, uh, you have to do a quest here. Uh, just hold on a minute. So yeah. He will be on this island and he will be sitting here with a fishing rod and he'll have a question mark right on the screen here where he's going to give you a quest and basically you have to fish uh, 20 times with him to uh, finish that quest. It's a very simple quest and after that there's some story parts and stuff and then you unlock him as a quartermaster for your ship and he gives some stats uh, I can show right here. Oh, where is it? So he gives 200 health to your ship when he's uh, when he's starting off, and then later on when you're when you're much when you're a much higher level, he will then have a quest, and with that quest, you actually get an upgraded version of him, and this time he gives a 5% speed buff, and another 5%. I think he gives like 10% speed buff in total. So I'm not sure what the wave thing is, but the sail is a speed buff. But the wave is something, I can't remember, but basically it's just an upgraded version of him. 
and yeah, you can you can only equip one at a time, but you can't equip, equip two at one time. But that's how you unlock the second quartermaster in the game. There's currently only two, so yeah. Next, we're gonna talking about the higher level crew and where do you find them. So, for the next crew that you wanna get after the Red Wake one is actually at Sailor's Lodge. So if you zoom out and you make sure you have it close to uh, Sailor's Lodge, you will see there is an icon there, and that's not the crew icon. And this one will will ha you have to be um, level sixty for this one. So it will take a moment to get there, but uh, it's for you guys. It's just a second. So we have finally reached uh, Sailor's Lodge, and here uh, I can find a spot here or here. I think oh. I think it's like around here this spot maybe basically here's an image on the screen again this is what they will look like and they'll cost around i think 300 galleons and you need a minimum level of 60 to hire them and this is what their stats look like if i can find it that's what their stats are so it give they give a 10 percent speed bonus and a 300 percent uh, ramming speed I think that's what that is. Ramming speed, not ramming damage, ramming speed, I think. I can't remember, but uh, that's what they that's what they look like and they're, they're pretty decent as well. Uh, it's good for mid-game and such. And here is also where you can buy the next ship, which is called the Ketch. I find it. Yeah. This is it costs 3000, which is a lot. And this is the fastest ship in the game right now. And it has the most can and it has the most cannons, and the most uh, uh, slots in the game. If I can show it here, so this is what it looks like. It has two quartermaster slots. These add-on slots which are coming soon, I think. And it doesn't have a ram. Uh, you can see in the caravel. This is what the ram would look like. So you can put it there, and like that's a huge ram. And yeah. Uh, you can get the catch, so you can put these cannons, and yeah, you can basically equip a lot of things with uh, this, just like so. Not that one, no, that is the right one. Uh, there's also things called sail materials. You can find it. So what it looked like this. This is not the best one. This is like the beginner one, and I, I, I haven't gotten lucky enough to get the better ones. But basically, it's like a passive buff to the ship with a 10% speed buff, and it adds a bit more durability to the ship. And there's also the front uh, figurehead slot, so you can have you can have a shark head in the front. Or uh, what I like to have is a skull with swords in the front. That's what this one is. It looks really cool. And the way you color your ship, by the way, is you get your paintbrush, you hold it, and then you'll see these two, these two things have, uh, come up. Uh, you need a game pass to get your custom colors, which is... Yeah, but it's fine. And this is how you color your ship. So if you get... This is for secondary colors. You need to find it where it becomes a brush. You just click, and now that part is white. Do the same on this. Now that part is white. And different upgrades are actually differently colored so this is the best uh, armor in the game as of right now which is called bronze armor but let's say uh if i had rugged framing on i can actually color these parts as well so if you really want to you can have worse armor but more customization and vice versa less armor i mean more armor but less customization so it's up to you and you can also color the sails uh, I have a black and white theme, and you can also just, you know, wait, I have to sail up. Uh, if I had to sail up, just like so. You can also color this color of your sails. So, now it's white, there's multiple of them, and you can also just make it completely black. Let's see, I'm gonna make both of them black 
just like that and yeah you can have your own custom color with the game pass but yeah now how do you get the armor stuff well this is how you do it you want to fight pirates and i can steer the ship please please what is happening can i can i can i steer the ship please pretty please no 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 don't don't ram me no don't ram me please don't ram me they ran me and that look at that, the amount of damage they did so th to get those sealed bronze chairs you can either fight pirates or you can do treasure hunts i already have the video on that like i said before but uh let me just fight this real quick and i'll show you what the seal test look like just like that you wanna you wanna break the ship first and once you've done that now you can go all in which I suggest not doing, but since I'm high enough level, I can do this. Bada bing, bada boom. And see everything spawn. Hope that person is still alive. Go away. And everyone's dead. Once you've defeated the ship by by cannons, not with magic or anything, with cannons, you want to sink the ship first, then you want to fight the people. And as you can see, I got a sail thing right there by opening a sailor's chest. And here, they've dropped three sealed bronze chests, or bronze sealed chests. So, you want to pick these up on your boat, place them down, and then uh, you want to take them to a shipwright. And again, if you have a bounty, you want to take them to the criminal shipwrights. And if you have a positive rep, you can take them to a, a normal shipwright. And there's a full chest there. There's a common treasure chest. That's also another way to get these these uh, sealed chests. And those are a bit, they take longer to do. And they don't take as much effort to do them. They just take time to find the place and stuff. But yeah. And you can get these uh, sealed chests from basically any npc ship so even if you're if you're if you're a villain you can fight the ravenna ships or the merchant ships or even the navy ships they all will drop uh, bronze seal chests and depending on their depending on their level so like the sailboat is normal sailboat it is one will only drop one but let's say that one will drop a maximum which is three and you can farm these pretty fast actually so if you want to if you really want to farm uh items and such like rare items and the, the the ship items farm these now when i take this to you're gonna you want to take this sealed bronze chest to the ship right just like that and you want to press q and as you can see you've unlocked uh you've you've obtained a sail and a blueprint which is this one here is the bronze carnage and the higher level you are, the better loot you're gonna get. So, I would suggest to do this when you're really high level, or when you're max level basically. Uh, that's when you will start getting all the rare stuff. And you can also get these Arcanium uh, cannons. These are called Lesser Fire Cannons because my, my magic is fire. They shoot out fire cannonballs with magic. And they do insane damage. And their reload, their reload speed is pretty fast. And you unlock them at around level 80, so from above that, you can start farming the thing. There's also a magic ram that you can get, which are really cool. And as you can see, I got another, I got a, a decoration called figurehead, a rugged dog one. There's many of them. And this is the last one. You can find the land here to walk on. One thing about these things, you cannot climb in the water. You can only climb boats, just like this, and you can only go up slopes. So you really want to park your boat really nicely if you want to uh, submit these to the shipwright. Otherwise, you're going to have a rough time trying to um, open them 
and get them to land. And this is the last one. And wooden framing. So that's an armor thing. And you can just go to the builder here. And you can build the thing right there. So wooden trim. You can then just press on build. It costs galleons. And then you have that as, uh, as an armor. And you can then just put it on your ship. Now, there's another thing called cargo. And this is how you can farm money to get these ships and such. So, the way cargo works is you can buy cargo from most of the areas around the map except for criminal shipwrecks, I think. Maybe some of them have it. I think White Summit has one. But basically, the way they work is let's say you buy cargo from Ravenna. Buy cargo from everywhere. It's around 50 at starting, as a starting point. Let's say you bought 5 cargo. That's 250 galleons. The way cargo works is that the more further away you go from the starting point, the more money you're going to get. So from Ravenna to Sailor's Lodge, you might get like 20 galleons back. So you can sell them, you buy them for like 50 and then you sell them for 70, you get a profit of 20. And the more you do that, the more money you're going to get. And the more the more far away from Ravenna you get, or more far away you get from the starting point, the more money you're gonna get. So the best the best strategy for cargo is actually Ravenna to Redway because that is the most furthest you can go. And in this update in 1.11.7, in 1.11.7, they actually nerfed cargo uh, money. Like, like they basically nerfed cargo by 25%. Before, if you go to Red Wake with uh, Ravenna uh, cargo, you would get 100, 115 per cargo, which is basically more than double. But now it's 25% less. So uh, 0 0.75 times 115, you get around 86 per cargo from uh, Ravenna to Red Wake. And basically 25% less to everything. So it's a bit of a nerf, but yeah, that's how you can also farm galleons. Now let's move on to the final place where you can get the highest level crew as of right now. But before that, uh, there's something I would like to talk about. So there's something called a deckhand and these are very difficult to get. Uh, you need an insane amount of bounty or fame to unlock them. And as of right now, getting both of them is pretty difficult, even though, you know, people in the leaderboards have basically just cheesed it and, you know, uh, like, this is just insane. What is this? 1.7 million bounty. That's just insane. And same goes for getting fame. Uh, you really have to, like, just go at it, basically, to get all this much. But basically, the way it works is... Uh, once you get that much fame, there's going to be uh, deckhands or like NPCs are all over the map which which are looking for a captain to be hired to. And there's one right there. And basically the way the, the, the scaling works is... Like look at this. So, uh, their level and their stats given, they... And, and there's some calculation there, but basically it's a level times a thousand, which will be their fame. And then whatever stat they give will be how much fame you need to hire them. And they basically take up the spot of your crew and they give you extra buffs. So this one, it gives me 268 ramming uh, strength, which is like ramming damage. And I have a crew on my ship. If I can find it. I have one which is a really low level one, a really low fame one. Uh, if I can find him, I think he's dead. <laughs> Wait, let me let me try this. Uh, you can respawn your, your crew by repairing your boat and then respawning it. So let's see, shop, repair. It it's really expensive the more health you have. And my ship redocked. So let's see if he's on there. Uh, yep, he is. So he, they'll have a different name from your normal crew people. 
this guy's name is Lewis and talk to him as you can see uh, he is uh, he has his own stat which is the wave I don't know what that is still but you can also upgrade them you need to have more fame and you have to spend galleons on them and you can also part ways so like you can like uh, let go of them and th then you won't have the buffs so you can actually you can basically get more and more buffs on your ship and you can probably make a really insanely fast ship with getting like like uh, all the speed deckhands and I think the deckhands are actually limited to the amount of slots you have on your ship so this ship has eight slots so you can have eight deckhands I think I'm not sure uh, if you're if, if you guys know in the comments or whoever is like that that high fame I think you guys know you guys can comment in the bottom I can pin it but that's all I know about deckhands as of right now and they don't take a slot in this place here so that's that's the cool part about them and yeah they give passive buffs to your ship so now let's go to the final uh, crew place which is at Ravenna and you'll he is there located uh, at the back here and for this you will have to uh, have to finish most of the story I think you have to finish the story to unlock them and I'll see you guys there so once you finish the the, the storyline quest and such uh, the person the people basically it will spawn on this island here and you can hire them for around 350 I think and they need a level requirement of uh, 100 or 80 I can't remember but something around, along those lines and this is what their stats are uh, they give 300 health and 5 sailing speed so it's pretty good I don't think you can upgrade them I'm pretty sure you can't upgrade them but yeah uh, th this is these are the three types of crews that you can get in the game and this is all about chips so I think I covered basically everything that you guys need to know about chips uh, other than like you know how do you get a cannonball and such but you can you basically get free cannonballs by just opening chests and such the sailors chest specifically that is all about boats you can get cannons you can like so rarely sometimes you can get cannonballs you can get like a lot of things and even sails like my inventory is literally filled with sails and yeah uh, it's just the ship system the ship combat system is such a nice feature and it's way better than what I would imagine it to be considering I played Ark and Adventures it was much simpler back then you would just buy a ship and then done that's it you have a ship now and then you just buy the, the cannonballs to fight other ships with but there was there wasn't there was uh npc ships there back then but it wasn't as advanced as, as what it is now and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video leave a like leave a comment if you're having trouble with me if you have I mean, what, with me if you're having trouble with ships and such i'll be replying to every single comment and yeah check out this video on the top right for how do you solve a legendary chart or any treasure chart in general it covers everything about them and yeah we'll see you guys in the next one let me just do a dramatic ending and where's where's the wave bye bye, -bye.